All right, so I've got a chunky points balance. I've picked out the latest first class suite. Now let's find a reward seat. Hmm. It's hard enough finding paid seats on flights, let alone reward seats. So you'll quickly find flexibility in your timing is key. Point Hacks Brandon explains. So the best way to increase your chances of finding reward seats is to be as flexible as possible. So I'm talking where you're leaving from, where you're flying to, which airline you're considering, and most importantly, your travel dates. If you can be flexible on all of those points or any of those points, then your chances of finding reward seats will be a lot higher. Here's how you can stay flexible when booking flights with points. Think about your next European getaway. Where would you fly to or from? Many people may automatically gravitate towards London, but that also means reward seat availability is at a premium. For example, instead of just trying to find a flight to London with Qantas, uh, you could consider flying to Paris with Air France, to Amsterdam with KOM, or even to Helsinki with Finnair. All three of those airlines are Qantas partners and you can book them with Qantas points out of Singapore. Your wallet might also thank you. The UK has actually had one of the highest departure levies in premium cabins per person since April 2022. It's actually cheaper to just fly out of any other European port. So in September 2022, I flew Emirates first class from Perth to Dubai to Vienna. But to be honest, I hadn't actually planned on flying into Vienna. I just knew I wanted to be somewhere on that side of the continent. Uh, so when I finally found two first class reward seats um, going all the way from Perth to Vienna, I just jumped on it. Another strategy is to be part of multiple loyalty programs. Being locked into one program can be limiting, especially if there are issues with reward seat availability. If you can earn points across multiple frequent flyer programs, go for it. Having points with one program can be very limiting if many of the major partners don't have great reward seat availability at the moment. For example, in early 2023, we're seeing that both Emirates and Qatar Airways have made very few business and first class reward seats available to members with Qantas points. That makes it harder to travel to Europe because both carriers have a huge network, which is now mostly inaccessible with those points. In contrast, Velocity Frequent Flyer is enjoying a resurgence. For example, it's a lot easier to use Velocity points on partners such as Singapore Airlines, Etihad and Qatar Airways all three of which offer plenty of reward seats to popular destinations, including the Europe and the USA. Personally, I always keep a stash of Qantas points, Velocity points, and Chris Flyer miles ready to use. I find it wonderfully freeing to be able to choose which airlines and which routes to fly on with my points, depending on what's available at the time. Reward seats are also just generally more flexible than cash fares. You can usually change flights or cancel outright for a reasonable penalty, usually with points or a small amount of cash. That means it could be possible to lock in a particular flight now, even if it's not 100% what you're after. So say you're looking for Singapore Airlines first class reward seats, but you can only see business class at the moment. One strategy would be to book the business class seats now because it's better than flying economy, right? And then later, if you do see the first class seats pop up, you can just easily call up or go online and change to the first class seats. You only pay 25 US dollars per person in change fees, plus the difference in miles between business and first class. And of course, if the plan doesn't work out, you still have your business class reward seats confirmed, which is an excellent way to fly. With both Qantas and Virgin Australia Velocity, you can change or cancel reward seats quite easily for just a reasonable fee in points. So to sum up, book early, stay flexible and diversify your points portfolio. You might not always get the exact flights or holiday you expected, but that's the beauty of being flexible. You might discover something better. To discover the latest reward seats, sign up to our newsletter at pointhacks.com.au and subscribe to this channel for more videos that will help you travel Lux for less.